you doing good and enjoying life uh, i welcome back to my channel the channel name is alien tech champion if you have not like and subscribe the channel i will request you to please like and subscribe the channel and share with your friends uh, so so today i actually i am going to talk about how what is the difference between mam and mdm if you have uh, not familiar with this channel so this channel is uh, regarding the learn learning about how you can learn microsoft endpoint manager so uh, you know uh, there are two type of the management microsoft is providing which is uh, one is mobile device management which most of the know already know there is uh, another feature is called mam mobile application management so what is this the major difference between these two right the major difference is if you have if company is giving corporate phone iphone or android or ipad to the employee to their employee those devices should be fully mdm managed mdm managed so what is the what, what is the, the mam managed so mam managed is if it's a buid devices like if it's a buid devices suppose if it's a personally owned devices uh, then you you can uh, use that mam feature what are the features of uh, the man is the buid devices as uh, using the mam right so mam is a very uh, uh, good features like uh, i will show you what are all features so you can manage through the mobile application management for buid devices uh the first is <coughs> that it, it is actually uh enforce the corporate data access at the app level not the device level the first thing right where in in mobile device management in corporate context all policy will be enforced at the device level the entire device level right so that is called the, the main the first the main reason behind this mdm and mam uh, there are other features like you can enforce the data loss prevention like cut copy paste saves saves restrictions and this uh, cut copy paste i mean dlp you can do with the device management with and without the device enrollment so this mam features has actually nice features you can use with mdm and without mdm so how you can create the mam features so if you uh, log in into this portal go to the app section okay and then you see the app protection policies right so you need to create the app protection policy here create new policy you see three options are there i'm going to create new policy for ipad and ios click this one you can put ios mam app productions policy okay just click next and you see target you want to target to all devices type no if you want to target to all device type this policy will apply to whether it's a mdm man is it's company owned or buid owned right buid you can use a traditional buid with enrollment that will be considered as a mdm managed so i am selecting no and if you select no you see it's managed and unmanaged so what what is these two difference unmanaged so most people most people maybe you have seen what is unmanaged how you can product the application on unmanaged devices unmanaged means it's not managed via intune managed means it's clearly right so yes you are correct even it's un uh, the device is not enroll into intune we can product those applications so if you want to do that you have to select only unmanaged right and if it's a company owned devices normally it's all company owned devices all organization want to manage the devices you have to select managed right so managed can be a company owned devices or buid devices i mean personally owned devices but unmanaged it's only preferred with without enrollment but you can use 
with enrollment as well right so with enrollment you have to select manage without enrollment you have to select unmanaged right so now you got i am creating just for unmanaged byd devices <coughs> without enrollment no enrollment at all and you can target to all apps microsoft apps or co or core microsoft apps right so you can select sell or selected apps so if you select the selected app you have to select the apps here from here right <coughs> these are the applications available these are mostly these are actually mem protected we call this enlightened app you can if you want to <coughs> apply this uh, mem app protection policy on unmanaged devices even if their devices is not managed you can uh protect it as soon as they sign with their suppose i am selecting microsoft outlook one note one drive office whatever you want sharepoint right let me select only sharepoint one drive or outlook or let it forget outlook right so let's select outlook and this one right so if you want to uh target this policy to the selected applications you have to select if you want to select all apps you can click on if you select all apps click on this link you will see all these applications here if you select uh, core microsoft app you will see only these these are considered a core microsoft application so all this policy will apply to is excel these are the microsoft application if you want to select the selected applications as i have shown you outlook and share point <coughs> better to product it's recommended to product all apps or at least the all microsoft apps but we have multiple choice here now you have to select click next and then there is some restrictions right you want to send organization data to all apps or policy managed apps or just policy manager with open in and sharing you want to exam some of the applications you can you can save copies of organization data yes of course it's unmanaged devices so we want to block it it's like block if you select allow <coughs> user will able to save it anywhere if you select block you can define whether they can only save in the box or one drive right or sharepoint whatever you want right so i am selecting <coughs> sharepoint or one drive for business and then rest all these applications you can configure right so receive data from other apps of course you want to receive data from any other application so let it be cut copy paste policy manager by default it's coming encryption of course it's required uh encryption organization data right if you select required this is the actually tricky one if you select a require it will ask users to set the device pin so you see here when you enable this setting the user may be required to set up and use a pin to access their devices if there is no device pin encryption is required the user is prompted to set a pin with the message your organization has required to first so if you select require and even it's unmanaged devices it will ask user to set the device passcode so if you don't want to set the device passcode you select require it will only uh, <coughs> enforce users or invoke users to set the pin app pin at the outlook level right so of course encryption is required for only any organizations so let it be required and then click next now here you have to select pin whether if any users want to access outlook application with the pin you can set the pin type if you don't want to set the pin because it's managed devices of course on man on unmanaged devices on buid of course it's recommended to set the pin you can set the pin minimum length 5 6 simple pin you can block whatever you as per your touch id you want to block override biometric time out setting number of days everything right <coughs> so these are actually things uh, uh, for for maybe fully managed devices or in man unmanaged devices managed devices you can set not required but you can still apply the dlp which i have set in the previous right this one so for unmanaged devices it should be required for unmanaged devices you can select not required right click next and then you can select the minimum pin attempts 
and after what will happen the reset pin after five attempts offline grace period you can select any SDK version minimum app version disabled account if it's a disabled account of course it will block access or wipe data right must select this one this is most important here your conditions right this this these conditions launch is actually different from the <coughs> Azure AD conditional launch right so this is actually app based conditional launch. so you see app conditions if app condition will be there and they will take action on that if this device condition is jailbroken of course it will block or wipe the data if it's my minimum operating system you can select the value 15.6.0 or whatever and select block or wipe or warm whatever uh, and maximum uh, device models maximum os version so based on that you can create just select next and add groups you have to assign this policy to 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 the groups i have the company on devices uh, dynamic groups you can create the groups and you can assign to this policy that's it very simple and this policy will get applied let me create the groups quickly uh, <coughs> for you and so that we can apply okay in the last video we have shown you how you can um, create the uh, dynamic groups as well so you can create the groups so this is for the mam devices so you can create the groups here and then you can i think i have some issue okay uh, you can create the two groups uh, you can assign these two groups and then apply apply the policy okay so it's very simple uh, th this is the only policy uh you have to create for unmanaged devices and then you have to push the app configurations as well if you want to push uh for uh, uh, for the for the unmanaged pod devices so what you have to do here if you go to the app configurations we have two options one for the managed devices which is actually company owned devices one is for the managed app which is unmanaged i mean pod devices so click on managed app suppose if you want it's recommended to uh, push the app config specific for applications so you can target all applications if you want to if you have the app configuration for uh, uh, generic uh, i mean the common app configuration for all the application you can select all apps or just select one applications like outlook i am i'm creating for outlook you can search it here okay microsoft outlook okay i'm selecting an uh, ios one you can select right you can select uh, here I use outlook app config and then click next settings so you want to put anything no if you want to configure anything I don't want to configure anything just click next and then assign to the groups right that's it's very simple you can assign this uh, app config to the users groups or device groups so hope for we have uh, shown you how you can create the app protection policy for BOID and how you can configure the app configuration policy to through the BOID devices. So it's unmanaged devices, so it will not show here under devices section. It will be only uh, it will be only uh, protecting those applications. So how you can check that applications uh, whether user has so you can go to the tenant and administrations and select the users any and if this users has been checked in any of these application it will show here under the app protection status okay you see here the intune license has not signed so that's why it's not showing okay thanks for watching the video keep sharing uh, and and come back to our channel for more information thank you have a good day